Palestinian people are suffering uh, injustices that have yet to be rectified. And the Christian community contributes to that. The Christian Zionist movement is super powerful, even more powerful than the Jewish Zionist movement. To one, some might say. Many, many Christians will send money to Israel and they'll think, you know, um, they'll send money to build playgrounds in Israel. But actually, they're building playgrounds in settlements that are built on land that's been confiscated from Palestinians. They don't know of the time. I, when I went to the Holy Land for the first time, I was going on a spiritual pilgrimage to Israel. I saw signs on that trip that said free Palestine. And I had three master's degrees and was getting my PhD. And I thought Palestine was a map in the back of my Bible. It's interesting. Um, I'm glad a lot of evangelical pastors are coming forward and speaking up for justice, speaking up for Gaza and Palestine. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people even like she said three master's degrees and a phd and still had no clue no idea and uh, this is a proof that the school system in the u.s is based on compounded words they don't want you to know history they don't want you to know these things they don't want you to know what uh, zionism is um it, it, it's sad uh, but let's continue watching I had no idea. There was so much that I didn't know. Went to the Bethlehem Bible College. The founder of it, Bashar Awad, told his family's story and how his father was killed in 1948. And I learned the word Nakba, which means catastrophe. And I had never heard this story before. And I literally was overcome. Like you can see the tears in my eyes. I think it's devastating that literally millions and millions of Christians every year go to Israel and they never meet a Christian. Did you meet a Palestinian Christian? I think if Christian Zionists have the opportunity to be exposed to the reality of the Palestinian people, that they might have different thoughts and understandings about what's really happening in the Holy Land. And this is another issue that the majority of uh, people have no idea about the um, the the suffering of the Christian Palestinians in the Holy Land. Uh, the Zionists don't care if you're Palestinian Muslim or Palestinian Christian or uh, whatever you are. They, they, they kill everybody. But unfortunately, the majority of the general public have no idea what's going on. Let's listen to a pastor, a Palestinian pastor from Palestine. Let's, let's see what he says. So what sort of support have you had from the Christians in the Congress. And just to frame this, and of course people know this already, but the United States government is paying for a lot of these military operations, and this is a majority Christian country. So um, have any members of Congress sent you aid of any kind, words of support, a fellow Christian? Um, we've always had a problem with American foreign policy when it comes to Palestine, Israel, and the Middle East in general. I've traveled to D.C to advocate uh, for a ceasefire, I don't think war solves anything. And uh, no, I mean, uh, on the opposite, we continue to be horrified uh, by what we hear from Congress. But of course, some exceptions, there are some uh, in the democratic side. Of course, Rashida Tlaib uh, comes from a Palestinian heritage. But uh, when you look at the so-called religious right, we uh, receive no, no sympathy whatsoever. Uh, sometimes we Please to be plead to be heard and to have our perspective taken uh, seriously. Uh, and one of the things I'm often struck with, whether when I speak to diplomats, uh, politicians, Congress staff, or even pastors and influential pastors, is how little they know about the reality on the ground. And uh, their knowledge of the uh, situation here seems to be very, very shallow. Yet they hold very strong opinions. And Exactly. Um, like this brother said, I mean, the majority of people, um, even the people in Congress, have no idea of what's happening in, in, in Palestine. Um, it, I, I don't know how to explain the danger of Zionism to, um, to Christian folks out there who are uh, fully supporting um, the uh, Zionism. Uh, let's 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 see what's happening to the Christian um, American Christians actually in, um, in in Palestine. They attack an American citizen, and you are still sending weapons to them. Why aren't you doing something? 
to stop this because the only violence I'm seeing is from the army, from the settlers. Tell me what happened. Um, we were we were walking to the um, the olive groves and um, um, the, the agri you know the fields. We were walking along and uh, a group of uh, settler teenagers came down. Were completely unarmed, and they just came at us with big sticks like this. There was a rod that I saw. Um, they were throwing stones, and they were yelling at us. If I was, they were just young teenagers. Um, we uh, we started. Uh, we were we were backing away. Um, um, we called. We called the police. Uh, the soldiers showed up. The the so they did nothing. They did absolutely nothing. In fact, the soldiers, when they showed up, they turned their guns on the people on the on the Palestinian townspeople who were trying who were helping us. They attacked an American citizen, and you are still sending weapons to them. The world has gone mad. This needs to end. Stop arming Israel. This is this is too much. The world has gone mad. I am so I'm very angry with my government right now. This is my tax money is going to pay for the very people who attacked me. This is Elam Papi, who is actually an Israeli. He is a Jewish uh, who wrote uh, a couple books that I will share with you at the end of this video. Yeah. But what most of the Palestinians, including Hamas, is involved in is an attempt to end occupation, ethnic cleansing, oppression. Not, it's not a project of killing Jews. This is not a Nazi project of the elimination of the Jewish people. This is an anti-colonialist struggle that, yes, has chapters which are immoral, chapters that should be uh, condemned. But let's not forget the big picture. And the big picture is a struggle of a colonized indigenous people against a project of settler colonialism, which is Zionism, to displace them and replace them with Jews. And that is what they are fighting against. And then... Um, I want to share with you a couple books of Ilan Papi, who is actually, um, as I said, um, who is a Jew. Uh, one of the, the books that I recommend for everyone is this one right here, and it's called, let me see, it's called The Biggest Prison on Earth by Elon Papi. It's a history on the occupied uh, territories. I don't know if you can see it. Here we go. And his other book, actually, that I would recommend is uh, The Ethnic Cleansing of uh, Palestine. The Ethnic Cleansing of Palestine, Elam Mpapi. Uh, might probably do a couple videos about these books. Um, they're very interesting. But the bottom line is I encourage everyone to learn about the situation in, in, in Gaza, in Palestine. And if you just know that if you support um, Israel, if you support Zionism, is exactly what you're supporting is injustice, genocide, and um, the killing. I hope you uh, you learned something from um, this video. Till next time, greeting. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.